the, the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. Let's talk Royal, let's talk Prince Harry, let's talk Spare, the name of his book. <laughs> Well, I think anybody that watched the documentary too that they got paid $150 million for, uh, if you started watching it, I think you'd enjoy it. I mean, I, I watched three or four episodes and thought, yeah, I don't mind this. And at the same time, I was appreciating what he was saying and sharing his side of the story and yeah. the inside of the palace and how, how it works and also Megan's version of events. But what I thought was interesting afterwards was just... The sharing kept coming. Yeah. Like it didn't stop. Well, he has to. When you sign a multi million dollar deal, you got to share some yeah, personal things, don't you? You do, but he went from sharing on the uh, on, on the show yeah. to then sharing more in the book. Things that, I don't know, he became the ultimate sharer where we started to learn about the Taliban and when he lost his virginity and cocaine and all these Harry oh, and Party the, days. And the Todger. And the, the, the Todger. Todger, the Todger right. was the big one. Did you see the, the media covering that the other night? No. Oh, guys, it was massive. I'd never feared death before, and now I found myself thinking... No, no. I haven't got that... You've got the Todger grab there? You want me to put that on my Todger? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, it's let's go back to what I was saying yeah. with the oversharing. What I think is interesting was he's gone too far. Like, he's included details about things that we don't need to know. Yeah. Like, the big headlines of the virginity and the cocaine and the Taliban. Sure, they're massive headlines. But if you got that first grab that you played, Macker, about the reading from the book, have a listen to this. I've never feared death before, and now I found myself thinking, please don't let me drown before my big date. Then another fear took hold. The fear of no onboard Lou. What? I held it in for as long as I possibly could until I had no choice. I swung my body over the side into the tossing sea and still couldn't pee. Mainly thanks to stage fright. <laughs> the whole crew looking. Finally, I went back to my post, sheepishly hung from the ropes and peed my pants. He Why? He's laughing as he's recording this, isn't he? He'd have to be. So he's sailing with a group of mates. He gets stage fright, goes back to where he was, and wheezes his pants. Do you know what? Do you know what? But I'm just anyone else doing this book. I mean, you'd probably have a laugh about it, but we don't. We don't hear this from royals' mouths. But even if you did, like it's. Too much information. I don't want to hear when you wet your pants. But that's the thing. Like, if Fitzy was to tell his life story and his yeah. version of events and this sort of thing, yeah. Fitzy's not going to tell a story about going sailing with a group of mates and one day wetting yeah. his pants. Not unless it leads to something really dramatic in your life. Like, it has no point. And if they cut 400 pages, mm. was there not other good stuff that's more impressive or more this you know, is, challenging than that? This pants. is what people want to know. No, I, I mean, the question is, did the Queen ever go to the... Remember, that's the big question. Did she ever go to the toilet? That's the big debate that everyone's had. Well, Harry's going, well, I'm the first royal to break it. Everyone, yes, we do. I weed my pants. Nah. Too much. It's for, it, have, you, have you watched it. the show, Says? I did the first three eps and then I sort of... It wasn't that I lost interest because I agree. I enjoyed the inside. I liked hearing their side of it. It made me really sympathetic to them. I just did thought you, I'm not giving six hours to Did this. you start... I mean, if we were cho choosing sides here, Royal versus Meghan, did you find yourself on Meghan's side? I just thought I it did. was really sad. Yeah, I did. I felt sad for her. I I think she just had no idea. For as much as she knew, she didn't know what she was walking into. But I liked, and that doesn't excuse anyone's behaviour. I liked him as well. And you kind of, you can relate by going, all right, well, if I'm if I'm a family man and my priority now is my family, then mm. I'm going to do everything that I can right now to look after and put my family in the best position. That's what I, that's that's what what I rate the most. But yeah. that part's great, but you have to appreciate that that's what your brother's doing as well. That's the part that's no, sat no, no, badly. No, no, no. I hated all the no, 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 no. Kate, Kate, Kate's not complaining about anything, though. This is the thing. So, so Harry's fallen in love with this girl, and he sees that it is visibly stressing her out and yep. what they have to go mm. through. And you know what? Any other royal, I would dare say, would say, nah, sorry, See you we, later. we don't want you anymore, and walk away. Way I I really I, I commend Admire, what yeah. Harry's doing and going. You know what? I'm going to stick with you. He's moved countries. No, that's all fantastic. Yeah. Like he's put her first. Good on you. Prioritize your life, your mm. life together. Good on you. But ripping into your brother 
for having to put his family first, as in Kate and their kids. Mm. That part I didn't like. I don't like you keep having a go at him. He doesn't get a choice. Like, no. Prince William has no choice. No, no, no. He's like, just... He's t- trapped. He, he's telling everyone what happened. I, I actually... F- I, I'm actually more saddened by William not sticking up for his brother. But that's I find that... Yeah, but I just... There's two different some major of the memories, roles here. Some of the memories I think of... I'm one of four... We all have very different childhood memories. Like, none of them that exciting like mm. these two. But certainly when you hear someone telling their version of a fight we had as a yeah, kid, I know. it see, is real different between all of us. It's not even a bad story. It's I not know, even but that all, bad. But that's what the media went for. Oh, you got knocked into a dog butt. Like, if your brother's having a yeah. biff, I think of my husband and his brother. They're very close. But if they got into a fight... Yeah, they How might about, get into a fight and then that you just let that's their business. I think what is so fascinating about it is the juxtaposition between what the royal family let us see and what he's sharing. Yes. So you mm. go your mind pictures the behaviour of the royal family being so proper and so correct and the front that the media is shown and the public is shown. And then you've got Harry telling a story about when he did the Oprah interview and found himself on royal grounds in a room with the whole family yelling yeah. at him. Mm. And, and William berating him and swearing at him. And you just picture these tall ceilings and huge chest, oh, no. Chesterfield chairs. They're and going off the walls. Yeah, there's a, whis- land, isn't there's it? a yeah. whiskey tray to the side and yeah. there's, yeah. I don't know, a deer's head on the wall yeah. and a fireplace. And William, in a very proper accent, yeah. you little turd, Harry. <laughs> you little turd, how dare you? And you just, I think that's what's amazing mm. to yeah. hear what actually goes on behind the walls compared to what we see. No, but that's, I think they're just like any other family in that sense. It's just a really grand setting. But when you want to go a relative, you're going a relative. <sighs> Christmas lunch is there on a seri- steroids. Is there a series two? No. That was it. There's the talk of her book. Well, that, but see, there's, oh, he's still okay. got another three books to come out. Apparently, there, he's got three well, more books. More. Apparently, yeah, it's a four book deal. Apparently, yeah. and she's apparently got a book. But they so he's hold got off. a lot of stuff up his sleeve. Mm. You can't all bleed it so out he, in the first in the first book. He's wet his pants on other occasions. I'm really looking forward to the sequel. <laughs> oh my god! You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast.